are still hurting about losing the election in Georgia last night. The worst part is that belief is born among them that, hacking, is the main reason why their men was not elected. The Daily Caller reports, not even 24 hours after Karen Handel defeated John Ossoff in Georgia's special congressional election Tuesday evening. Democrats began blaming the election results on possible hacks. The special election in Georgia's six districts Tuesday night resulted in a 52-48 victory for Republican candidate Karen Handel over Democrat John Ossoff, a 30-year-old former congressional staffer who did not reside in the district. Democrats are already claiming that Georgia's voting system is flawed, because it relies entirely upon electronic voting records and has no system of verification, like a simple paper backup system. Left-leaning media outlets are calling the election results into question, like the raw story headline Tuesday night, No Paper Trail, Georgia's antiquated voting system prevents an audit for hacks. In fact, multiple outlets were questioning the Georgia electoral system in the weeks leading up to Tuesday's vote. To sum up, Ossoff didn't lost because of hacks, or any of that sort. Even to come up with this as a joke is bad enough. The Democrats are probably using it to comfort themselves after yet, another terrible loss. What are your thoughts on this? Comment section Game changer Thray Gowdy did what no liberal would do in century. Thray Gowdy is certain that media carries more burden on its shoulders than the Congress itself. They are the ones who drag all of this Trump-Russia corporation. The House Oversight Chairman brought his perspective on Tucker Carlson tonight. Popular media outlets have been pushing their audience into frenzy, shouting collusion. The concern and its presence are being more and more felt. Enough with the false accusations and stories regarding President Trump. Tucker, the hyper-focus on collusion is not Congress' fault, I would say folks in your line of work have been focused on collusion much more than certainly Republican members of the House, Gowdy stated. Donald Trump was utterly correct when he said that fringe leftists are the ones without respect and love towards their own country. If they continue with their mass spreading of lies, it could seriously impede in the White House's ability to pass meaningful legislation. The House investigation has more aspects. The pivotal one is however, if Russia really attempted to take part in the presidential election and if so, to what extent. All the accusations towards Trump administration are based actually on almost nothing. America is getting exhausted nonetheless. Hearing every day the same repeatedly is in no one's favor. That's why the Trump administration needs to act in order to be focused more on policy. If anyone should be worried about what Congress might found its people associated with Barack Obama. If Russia's attempts to sabotage our democracy succeeded in any way Obama would likely be the source to ask from regarding the attacks. Gowdy pointed out exactly that. He told Carson that the House investigation into Washington's response to 2016 cyber crimes is primarily concerned with the previous administration. America's response has nothing to do with Trump, that's an Obama administration response. What are your thoughts on this? Comment section below. Revealed Finds Teen Flips Sides Look what she just revealed about A.G. Loretta Lynch. When former FBI Director James Comey testified before Congress he revealed that former Attorney General Loretta Lynch told him to call the FBI investigation into Hillary Clinton's personal email server a matter. See the video below, The Hill reported that, Senator Dianne Feinstein, DeCal said on Sunday the following to host Brianna Keeler on CNN's State of the Union. I think we need to know more about that. And there's only way to know about it, and that's to have the Judiciary Committee take a look at that, Feinstein, the top Democrat on the Senate Judiciary Committee, said. I would have a queasy feeling, too, though, to be candid with you, the Senate Democrat said. Here is the moment that she is discussing. The Democrats are starting to fold and it's time to drain the swamp. What Loretta Lynch did during the Hillary campaign was criminal. What do you think of this? Share your opinion. Finally. After White House reporter tried to mock Sarah Huckabee Sanders, watch Hell Unleash Itself.
Sarah Huckabee Sanders took White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer's job for today and she turned out to handle it pretty well. First, the White House reporters kept asking if Trump is going to call his executive order a travel ban, or extreme bidding or something else. She shut down this pointless question, saying Trump doesn't care about political correctness, he cares about keeping Americans safe. But then the fireworks started. White House reporter April Ryan attempted to embarrass Sarah Herr by asking where Sean Spicer is and why she is filling in. Her brilliant response that shows she will not be intimidated. After she gave the answer to these questions she stepped off stage as the liberal mainstream media complained about it asking her to return. What do you think of this? Share your opinion. Seconds ago. Thray Gowdy with one question got Jet Johnson exposing Obama and Obama's deeds. House Oversight Chairman Thray Gowdy is keen on discovering why ex-DHS Secretary Jet Johnson wouldn't consider to address the Russian election. Jet Johnson said that it was a problem before the 2016 election. Johnson testified about Russia in the House Intelligence Committee on Wednesday. Here is what Jet Johnson said about Russia in front of the House Intelligence Committee on Wednesday. Russia is, a career when it comes to attacking the foundations of our republic. They have a history of cyber attacks on our country. You warned before the elections that they may attack our voting infrastructure. After the election, President Obama took steps to target Russia. Given what we know before the election, what more could we have done and should we have done? We weren't surprised Russia was doing this to us, they always do it to us. Johnson didn't tell anyone the specific steps that he would have taken is all he said. Hindsight is brilliant. Hindsight is 2020. What are your thoughts on this? Comment section below. Just now. Trump break the Democrats in half with this. The Democrats were utterly disappointed with the result in the Georgia's election, even it is strongly familiar to them. Republican Karen Handel won the special election in Georgia on Tuesday after, according to a projection by NBC News. Democrat John Ossoff tried to take a heavily Republican House district, Donald Trump Jr. published this, brutal. Savage. Wrecked. Ossoff raised more than $24 million which is five times more than Handel. GOP groups spent a lot to catch up to him. Despite this, the Democrats were absolutely taken down. The president also was cherishing, what are your thoughts on this? Comment section below. Finally. Tom Cotton leaking on Hillary Clinton covered up in silence the entire Senate. Senator Tom Cotton, RR evaporated Hillary Clinton on Wednesday when questioning the Select Committee on Intelligence. He said, In response to whether or not Donald Trump had become an agent of Russia and their efforts to sow discord and discontent about our elections, you said that you declined to answer. Let's look this from a different perspective. Since her election defeat, Hillary Clinton has blamed her loss on the Russians, Vladimir Putin, the FBI agent James Comey, fake news. Wikileaks, Twitter, Facebook and my personal favorite, content farms in Macedonia. In her blaming her loss on these actors, has Hillary Clinton become an unwitting agent of Russian's goal in the United States? Hillary Clinton said that anyone that doesn't accept the results of the election would be a direct threat to our democracy. What are your thoughts on this? Comment section below. revealed what Nancy Pelosi just said to Trump's grandkids on live TV will end her career. President Donald Trump's 11-year-old son, Barron Trump, was attacked by Kathy Griffin not more than a few days ago. Just days after the attack on the innocent boy, Nancy Pelosi showed up on live TV and took it even further, to another level. Nancy Pelosi stooped to a new low while speaking at a press conference, during which she attacked President Trump's grandchildren. In an attempt to bash Trump for legitimately pulling out of the Paris Climate Accord, which he should have, she just could not control herself and therefore did not stop herself from bad-mouthing children. Pelosi said, How is he going to explain to his grandchildren what he did to the air they breathe, 
Assuming they breathe air. Assuming they breathe air? Her statement was truly inadequate for a public figure and politician.